Hi, this is John Canlopoulos from Center here in Athens, Greece, the Laser Vision Ambulatory Surgery Center. Uh, this is our typical room here, and we're going to go away from what you have used to listen to me talk about. This is an 88-year-old gentleman, monocular. His vision has dropped to hand motion, and we have a severe exposure ulcer here, had severe uh, zoster that probably damaged his um, facial nerve. Uh, significant extropion. We were able to address this problem on this uh, very nice gentleman who comes in with his uh, son. You can see the uh, keratolysis, uh, cornea melt in more common words uh, with anterior segment OCT. This is him after bandage lens for a month and a successful cataract surgery to 2040. So this is one of the biggest rewards of being an eye surgeon, being an external disease expert. You can really transform the life of this gentleman who, indeed, 88 years old, we should not give up on him. He likes to drive, he's independent, he goes hunting. And the story doesn't end here. We're seeing him here a year later with his cornea back thinned into this heart holding thinning because his ectropion has gotten worse. He neglected a little bit, a few of his eye exams. You can see this is, I'm not pulling his eyelid. This is a natural eyelid position. So what do we do here? You need to do uh, extensive plastic surgery to reconstruct the lower eyelid, to bring in the uh, um, muscle uh, edges to the periosteum on both sides, fix the ptosis. We went through the emergency <clears throat> procedure of uh, you can see how thin the cornea was. The emergent procedure of doing a generous tarsorophy, putting a bandage lens, and our friend is back to uh, 2060. Just two weeks later, uh, again, with uh, antiproteolytics, uh, we can see how the uh, before and after looks here. Again, um, this is two weeks ago prior to the tarsorophy. This is him today, two weeks later, with the bandage lens and the tarsorophy. And our 89-year-old uh, friend now uh, is not ready to drive, not ready to go hunting yet, but at least we're able to preserve his only eye. Uh, and this is an example of how careful, uh, aggressive um, way of addressing severe external disease with the most simple way of a tarsorophy. Uh, this is a Greek word, tarsus is the, uh, um, uh, the uh, hard part within the eyelid, the structure within the eyelid. Uh, Rafi in, in Greek means to suture. So suture the tarsus of the upper and lower eyelid, thus to uh, reverse the severe tropium that we saw before. The uh, papiber conjunctiva here is still exposed. We can still, there's significant tropium, but it's starting to look pinkish instead of uh, significantly reddish. Uh, and uh, we, uh, at the last minute, uh, we're able to save the cornea, see how nature, how forgiving nature is once there is normal nourishment of the cornea surface versus the ultra thin, almost perforated cornea beforehand. And again, uh, this is how we started a little over a year ago. Uh, we went through uh, almost a heavenly picture here. Um, Things that went south again, uh, almost lost uh, the game here. And again today, uh, a breath of relief. Um, nothing pleases more to be able to uh, help uh, the everyday life of a gentleman who I know if we had not seen him a few weeks ago, today would have been blind. Again, John Canlopoulos is on basic external disease um, and the miracles that a simple tarsography can offer this um, 89-year-old gentleman. Thanks so much.